Another beautiful morning. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, darling, thank goodness you're up. Today is Christmas Eve. So, Dad, you know very well that Santa doesn't exist, okay? So don't pull all this crap on me, okay? Mom and Dad, I want some makeup. If you can get it, it's great. If not, whatever. My friend is buying me some anyway. <sighs> Darling, you don't need to be so arrogant. Hi, my name is Kellen. As you can see, I'm pretty much obsessed with my room. More like clothing, gems, and flowers. They're kind of my jazz, if you know what I mean. I love accessorizing, and I just love buying those stuff. My mom and dad, yeah, they're nice, but they never understand me. I am a single child, and while sometimes you may think that it's bad to have be a single child, or it's great to be a single child, some people think it's a it's a blessing and it's the best blessing they ever got but some people like me think the sibling understands them more than their parents like their parents don't understand them they just can't understand what we want and well that's sad but that's the truth the worst but the worst part about our whole house even though the best is my room the worst is our garden. Oh my god. I don't like sports. Usually there's snow, so there's a skateboard kept there, which is always kept. And in summers, we play ball. It's one of the most irritating things. I have a cousin named Gabby, and apparently she keeps winning and stuff, so I always get compared with her. It's so annoying. The only thing good about it is the amazing relaxing chair with the beautiful mirror on it where I can always see how beautiful and mesmerizing I look all the time. So yeah, that's me and that's my life. The life of a normal girl who just wishes that sometimes her parents understood her, that she wasn't interested in sports like her cousin. She was interested in other things. I hope I'm doing this right. I, I wish that mirror was in my room. There's just no space. Oh, I don't want to go to the garden and listen. Kelly, come down here. Yes, mom. Yes, dad. Coming as usual. Do I have a choice? Kellyanne, please see it. Mom, Dad, I, you know if I sit my puppy dress, it's going to be ruined. So please, just tell me what you want. I'm going to Gemma's or else if you don't need anything that important. Kellen, sit. Dad, I don't sit. You've not been given the option yet. It's okay, darling. If you don't want to see it, it's okay. It's, it's totally fine. Hey, listen, Kellen. You know we love you, right? I mean, yeah, obviously. Listen, I know you love fashion, and that's amazing. Every girl deserves to look good, and that's why we buy you so many things. But that doesn't mean you don't play outside. We're getting a little worried about you. We don't want you to always be in the home and like not doing anything as such. We want you to play in the garden, be playful and enjoy your life. You, you be fashionable, but you enjoy your life. Oh, please, Dad, can we like not bring that up? I don't like playing in the garden. It's so annoying. If you want, I could sit on the reclining chair. That's kind of cool. This time, I want to want you to actually play ball. Come on, look at, I don't want to look at my cousin. She's better than me at everything. I know she is. Deal with it. I'm going to Gemma's. Bye. Oh, God. What do I do with this girl? It's okay, honey. Everything is going to be fine. We just need to find a way to, to capitulate her to the land of sports. I don't want to capitulate her. I want her to realize that we are doing this for her own good. There's nothing wrong in it. 
She will soon, honey. She will soon. Your makeup room is beautiful. You've got so many kinds of perfumes, just, you know, different kinds of aloe veras, powders, lip, like lip balms, lipsticks, lotus, like lotions. Like it's great. You really do take care of yourself. Yeah, my mom really encourages me to take care of myself. But I do love skiing a lot as well. How are you even wearing those clothes? They're silk and I kind of feel cold all the time. I don't know why. I, I, it's because also because I got a cold because I'm in the like skiing team. Man, I wish my parents were as good as yours. They just don't understand me. Kellen, see, I get all of this because I'm doing sports as well. I'm being an independent multitasker. You're not that, Kellen. You know that. You know that you don't play sports. You should at least give it a try. That's all I'm saying. Mm. No thanks. I'm not doing that. Well, if you don't give it a try, you'll never know. Ugh. I'll think about it. You should try sports. You should at least give it a chance. 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 Should at least give it a ah! I don't want to give it a chance. I know it's pathetic. I know it is going to ruin my life. You? Huh? Who? Kellen! Kellen, you gotta come down right now! Yeah, Kellen, come down right now! Um, y yes, Mom, coming. Yes, Dad, coming. Look who's here! C Cousin Gaby, she's living with us. Now, now, Kellen, you gotta share your bed. That's why I keep two Elios. C cousin Gabby? Um, yeah, it's me. Hi, nice to meet you. Not seen you from like when you were small, 11 years old, I believe. Yeah. This is the biggest dread of my life, obviously. And yeah, this is my mind speaking right now. Cousin Gabby is the girl I hate the most. I mean, my parents are still good. I know they want my good, but Cousin Gabby, she's like that evil demon who has come to kill me and resent me to hell. And now she's going to be living with us for... She's going to be living with us for five days. Oh, my God. The whole week. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank God she's not living for the extra two days. If you want, you can stay for two days more. I would love to. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. In this week, I just hope I'm not dead. Cousin Gaby, can I do a request from you? Yes, yeah, sure, Auntie. Whatever you say, I'm willing to do it for you. Could you please ensure and like make Helen play more sports? She needs to understand the value of them. I will try my best. Hey, sis, wanna go to the field? I'm already ready. To go to the field. But you know what? Let's have a competition. Who can sit the longest? How about a competition of ball? No. Um, we, you can do that here as well. That's why we don't need a field. You want to do it? I don't. Come on now. It's going to be fun. Put that hat up. <gasps> How could you do that? It looks so ugly on you. Just come on, sis. <gasps> All right, uh, I'm kidding. It. I'm kicking it. I'm kicking it, okay? And go. Okay. <laughs> See, even I make mistakes. Come on, give your shot. Finally, she's doing it. See, you're doing so well. <laughs> See? We both are doing so well. Oh, yeah, I guess. Now go a little further. Oh my god. Okay. 
We doing so well. Come on, get the ball. <gasps> my dress. What? My dress. No, no, this is my favorite dress. Oh my God. Don't worry, I've got this handled. Don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. Our daughter is going to become an all-rounder. This dress is so tight. Oh, stupid girl. I'm not gonna leave her for ruining my <laughs> favorite dress. Hey, wanna, come on, it's okay, that happens. It's okay, okay? Trust me, it's okay. Come on, let's go play again. Again, again. Okay. Okay, you can do this, okay? You're playing really well. You're like the best footballer I've ever met. Come on, come on, come on. Don't, don't let it get to you, okay? Are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, there you go. Come on, pass to me. Trophy. What? Don't you understand, cousin Gemma? My freaking dress is breaking down here, and you're thinking I'm gonna play sports? Listen up, little one. I have no interest in your dumb sports in any of that, okay? You don't deserve the recognition you get because honestly, you're just a loser who doesn't know even the F of fashion, okay? So please, just leave me alone and do what you wanna do because I don't care about you, okay? So if you, you ruined my favorite dress and now you understand how it is like to ruin your favorite thing, now cry as much as you want like a cry baby. That's what you've got. You can't do anything more than crying. Kellen, please. It's my and her talk, not you, yours. Please stop talking to your cousin like that. I won't. Learn something from this. I didn't mean to do that to our dress. My trophy. Losers. I totally want to be like Eris. She was such an evil angel. Actually nice. Because she treated people the way they deserve to be treated. Huh. You, the, that Christmas angel was so beautiful. How she used to love fashion. How she got so scolded by Santa Claus. How she literally broke down all the gifts. And there was no Christmas that year. <laughs> there was no Christmas. There was no dumb dashing through the snow. There was none of that jazz. There was just reality. And that Santa Claus doesn't exist. You're wrong. What? Who said that? You're wrong! Huh? <laughs> am I dreaming? No, you're not. I am Eris, the Christmas angel who ruined Christmas. But this can't be you. You were such a beautiful looking angel, but now? I know. And that's what I'm here to tell you. We all know the tale of mine. I once used to be a beautiful angel who traveled everywhere for Christmas. One of the most beautiful journeys I had. However, I overlooked that and I instead gave way to my fashion. Other angels would admire my fashion. Sienna Claus was the one who told me you're not concentrating on your work. And that is when I got hyped. And so I ruined all the gifts by finding the three gems that would ruin Christmas. All of us know that. Wait, I didn't finish. You don't know the rest. Oh my God. Whenever this flashback comes, I feel like I'm that beautiful fairy again. <laughs> I 
I had to meet with the Queen of Fairies, who came to know that I was the one who stole all the diamonds. Then she just asked me a simple question. Why? And I told her my beauty. Then she cast a spell on me and made me look like a poor lady. And she said, this can only be casted back if you help five people who are exactly like you and ruining their lives. Only then will you return back to your original form. Whenever I fly now, there were many people who laughed at me. The one who was admired by my looks the most, she began to laugh, laugh at my terribleness. And that's when I realized how fake it is. No one cares. No one cares. But, Sin Skellen, your family does. Your cousin does. I never had a family. Look outside once. Your dress can be sued back, but that trophy, it can't. Huh? It's gonna be okay, okay? She, she didn't do it on purpose. I didn't mean it. I know you didn't. And that is why I'm here to help you. I may re If you really feel for her and go and tell her you're sorry, then everything goes fine. She, the trophy won't matter, your love will matter. Yes, obviously, fashion is very important. I know you love doing it, but it shouldn't be your only priority. You should do everything in life. You should experience it. You should have fun with it. You're right. I feel so bad now. Gemma, it's Jamie. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to do it. I'm really sorry. The trophy, it, it, it bared up on its own. Huh? But it was broken. My. It's a Christmas miracle, it seems. I am willing to play sports. That dress can be sued back. But this trophy, it's got so much more. Pressure, pain, everything. And it's one of the biggest achievements. One of the biggest achievements is for you to realize. I am 10 years and you're 16. But look. It doesn't matter what age we are, if we can just stay together and be wise. I, I need to go once. Aris? It's Aris, you're getting all names wrong. But thank you. Thank you so much, Cinder, Kellen, even I'm forgetting names now. Mm. Bye! Mm. Well, then it happened. I changed as a person. I played football all the time and I got selected for it. It became my favorite sport. I hung out with my family more. And with cousin Gabby. Can you believe I got her name wrong twice? Gemma, Jamie. <laughs> Finally, I'm getting some names right. And I realized that life is a lot more than just fashion. There's a lot more to it. There's a lot more to it. Help, help. I didn't want to laugh at her. You did. And that people who go against you, they seem, f they're the people who be with you. Sometimes they're the people who hate you. But your family, 
They're the people who never betray you. And I love them with all of my heart. Mm. Thank you so much for watching this Christmas special. Now it is time to give our doll actors some credit as I will go through every single doll who took part in this video. Mauritius Cinderella. Cinderella. Shopkins, Shoppies, Jessie Cake, Batman, Robin and Disney Princess Little Kingdom, Anna. Melissa from A Tale of Two Sisters. Barbie as the Queen of Fairy. Maleficent. Aurora from the new place that I went, Bali. Fawn from Tinkerbell. Hey. And Barbie as the Fairy Minion. Keering Blue Dolls, which I had two of, as Eris. Shopkins Gemma. So yeah, I kind of kept her name the same. I kind of love her name, so yeah. Santa Claus, that is it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and hit the red button. I will be doing a Christmas haul soon. Sorry for being so late. And I thank you guys. Next up, model. Next episode, it will take like a week or two more. So, like, please be a little patient. I'm in a hairdress right now. I'll be back soon. Bye.